A very good morning to Expresso family. We are coming to you live this morning from the Titsong National Museum of Cultural History in Pretoria. And we are talking all things National Museum Week, which has been running from the 16th of May and will do so until the 25th of May. Now, uh, today I am joined by uh, Marketing Director at Titsong Museums Africa, Ms. Lemohang. Um, uh, Lemohang uh, Zingume, as well as Aretunji Omotola, who is a global African connector. Lemohang, I'm going to start with you first and ask you, I mean, you guys have been running a number of programs, you've been running a number of muse um, initiatives to celebrate National Museum Week. What can we expect from the event today and what have you been doing over the past couple of weeks? What we've been doing is to create access to all South Africans, to our museums. So as a result, to celebrate International Museums Week, all our museums have been free until the 25th of May. So everybody can visit our eight museums in Johannesburg, that is the National Museum of Military History will be free. Then all our museums in Pretoria, they can come and access them for free. Now we had a launch of International Museums Week where we were transferring knowledge from elders to the young, to the young people, where we are celebrating culture. Therefore, we are saying let our young people know what the meaning of culture is and what the role of museums is as far as displaying our culture is concerned. Today we are celebrating Africa Month, and to celebrate Africa Month, we are saying let us talk about the social ills of this country, one of them being xenophobia. So we have some speakers coming to talk about xenophobia in our public lecture and dialogue today. Aratunji, I'm going to be moving over to you. Now, you said earlier on you're a Global Africa Connector. What exactly is that, and what are you going to be bringing to the event here today? Okay. Well, firstly, I'm very happy to be in this beautiful museum. I've been here before, but I forgot about the museum. I always love to be in museums. As a Global African Connector, it's very simple. Africa needs to tell its own story. We don't tell it uh, often, and we are trying to impact uh, the globe from Africa. So we're connecting people, and we're connecting our economies all the time. But what we're here to do today, or sadly, after 25 years of democracy in South Africa, we're still talking about a painful uh, situation where we find ourselves recurring intolerance occasioned by xenophobia. And today we want to talk about what it is and how it happens and then we want to prefer solutions on a pan-African level because we've seen incidents of xenophobia in Ghana, in Nigeria in 1983, we've seen it in Gabon, we've seen it in Kenya. So it's a global African situation that we're faced with and there's an urgency of now to be able to tackle it, especially from a victim's perspective. Xenophobia, pansy, xenophobia, pansy. As you've heard from Aratunji and Lemohang, today is not just about celebrating museums, but of course finding solutions to various uh, problems that are facing us on the African continent. When we get back a little bit later on, we're going to be touching base with some of the learners who are very excited to be attending this event here today and finding out what National Museum Week means to them. But for now, it's back to you guys in the loft.